welcome to the biggest and the largest estate in Uyo, Akwa Ibom State. This is Shelter Africa Estate in Uyo. As we continue to have a view of Shelter Africa, I have with me a real estate agent who will tell us all that we need to know about real estate. This will be a guide as we go on the journey of buying our new house. Hello everyone, welcome to today's video as we embark on the exciting journey of buying your new home. I am UPT. So today I'm here with agent Ajahi, an experienced real estate agent who will guide us through the essential steps. So let's dive in. It's good to have you, sir. Thank you very much. <laughs> nice meeting you. Yeah, nice thank, you. thank you so much. Thank you for coming around to give us enlightenment. Thank, thank, you, you, thank you so much. It's good, you know, to track you down. It has not been easy. <laughs> it seems you are you are busy around the clock. So it's good to have you. Thank, thank you so you much. Very much. Very okay, so I we have a couple of questions to ask you as oh. the real estate agent, and you have gone through. Uh, the process of buying and selling the couple of business i've done with you has been very successful i'm so glad and that is why i'm bringing you to this channel so that you can give us the uh, understanding uh, for those aspiring to own a land not only in uyo aquaibum state and also beyond those people are aspiring to buy a new home so just give us an understanding what we should consider the first thing we should be thinking of before we embark on buying our new home. I want to ask, buying a home or a property is considered a significant milestone. So how is it important for someone to make this kind of uh, decision? You know, people going to buy a liability instead of asset. So as a professional in your field, so how is it important to make this kind of decision? Okay, let me say, uh... A real, a real estate will actually be an asset, can never be a liability. And this is why I this is why I have to say this. Because when you invest your money into real estate, number one, it had prestige to you. You have a social prestige. Okay. Uh, people know that this property is owned by this particular person. And you know, you are well known in that community. And aside that, you know, it is beyond just, uh, you know, just buying and keep a property, but you are getting a return from that investment. And a land that you buy five years ago yeah. can never be the same. Okay. You know, can never be the same it's again. Appreciating. It's appreciating. Okay. And uh, these are the factors that affect such a property, which can be, I mean, the development in that area okay. and the public infrastructures in that area can also you know add value to the, prop to the property and then if you are going to compare it with the amount that you buy it as at the time of purchase yeah. it will not be the same okay. when i mean in five years or more times so that is an appreciation you know you are if you are giving a house let's say a property for rent mm. what it is last year will not be what it is next year yeah. no matter what it is it's going to be appreciated Appreciate. so you have more you have more value you are you know you are enjoying money day in day yeah. house oh, sure. are you people are paying you for it even when you are not putting in so much oh, sure. into it compared to any other you know any other work okay. are you something that you yeah. have to you have to sleep in the morning yeah i mean sleep at night wake up in the morning mm. go you know go and oversee them before you get money. money but in real estate it is not so yeah are you getting what i'm saying so yeah. and then you know it does not i know that it no, no matter what the situation of the economy can be the... a landlord can never suffer okay it can never suffer take for instance mm. let me let me backdate it to when we have this COVID-19. Yeah. Even when there was lockdown everywhere, yeah. the landlord, the property owners are still enjoying money. Yeah. They are getting money. Okay. So they, you know, the situation in the country doesn't affect their money, doesn't put a stop to the money. So if that is one of the things you can enjoy as a property owner. Oh, no. Are you getting what I'm saying? Okay. It is all about that. Thank you. Okay. So that's a... Okay. So so <laughs> it, it it then means that 
its importance to go into real estate it's very important it's like, very it's very important. important okay it's a it's a passive source of income okay so you don't have to you don't have to be available okay. all the time to get your money you get whether it. you're available or you are not available, available. the money is is, is coming okay. to you every time okay. and you can make any decisions you want to make you can make any decision over your property. over the property okay. you know you can fire mm. and you know hire people okay. you know give them your the property so you have every right okay. you have every right over your property so, so it, it then means that it is important to make this decision it is important to make this decision okay so that because i can tell you that mm. there is no there is no iota of regrets okay if you put in your money into into real estate there's no regret whatsoever okay. there's no regret as long as you have a you have a genuine, genuine document document, document okay. for the property okay. so you enjoy it as long as in fact the property will help leave you are you getting something yeah. something that your children children wow. will enjoy after, after you have you are gone okay. so that is all what you know you can enjoy in properties thank you very much so sir when it comes to buying a home understanding the budget is crucial so what advice do you have for viewers and all uh, and intending buyers in establishing a, a realistic budget okay absolutely this is always my recommendation okay when you want to buy a home okay and which are the factors to consider and this is very crucial the you must have a budget okay at the back of your mind okay and then this has to do with um, your down payment capacity okay and then the the closing cost which the layman referred to as uh, the total package okay then the monthly payment then okay. and this is always my professional advice okay. in this regard okay. that when you when you want to have a budget ensure that it aligns with the financial goals of the property that you want to purchase okay. so that is all what i can you know give to you okay you know, in this interview but i think there's still more to it okay so. thank you very much if i may understand you very well so you have to uh, align your budget to the, to the goals financial goals financial the goals of the property you just want to break the financial goals down for a layman to understand so assuming that someone wants to sell a land with or maybe a house and the house worth 20 million so you may mention about a monthly payment and you also may mention about uh, a total package and you also uh, may mention about the uh, down payment cost. Uh, the down payment cost. Yeah. Okay, so like let's say the total package is now 20 million. Breaking it down to the monthly, that means that the money will be paid into monthly interval. Is that what you mean? No. No, like uh, there are stages to you know purchasing a property. Okay. Now, for instance, now the okay. down payment is that like there is a certain amount of money that it requires for you to secure the land okay. at first. Okay. I get what I'm saying. And that is not uh that does not amount to the fact that you have actually you have take care of the agencies the legal aspect of it okay and then there's some documentation that okay. is also required okay and you get something that you have to pay for so it's not just that you are buying a land and that is all okay so the total cost is the agent you know is involved who okay. actually take you to the property okay. then the, there is a legal the legal agreement okay. that you have to make okay. and that is a, that is require the service of a barrister who is going to prepare it for you okay. then there's a charges to it okay. then we are talking of documentation you want to survey okay. the property you have to hire a surveyor okay. to do that for you you need uh, the c of o to be done for you okay. you need to go to the ministry of land and those things you know they incurred a lot of expenses like that okay I get so this amount to what we call the closing deals so okay. it's not just buying a land okay that is that's what is what you are paying for okay. but some other expenses, expenses. Are, you are going to incur okay. after purchase of the land the so land. that's what we're talking about okay choosing the right neighborhood is often a key concern so i want to ask what should a potential property buyers should uh, prioritize when it comes to uh, researching for a neighborhood essential amenities such as good road okay yeah you look into the security 
of that neighborhood okay you have to you have to be guaranteed that your life and property is protected okay which is the security aspect that i'm talking about then you know access to portable water okay uh, availability of power supply okay. is also part of what to be considered okay. when you are when you want to you know choose a particular neighborhood okay. to buy a land okay. or landed property okay. then you also need to consider the proximity to important locations such as okay. your workplace okay. the market okay. because you need to buy goods okay. market schools your office your children's schools Okay. and all of that so okay. you have to put all of those things into perspective okay. before you decide or make decision of which property to buy or to not buy. okay okay sir many first time buyers may wonder the role of the real estate agent so okay. can you shed more light so many people that does not really know the role of the real estate agent why do we need them why when acquiring a property why do we need their professional advice when we want to get a property? Okay, that's a good question. Okay. What a real estate agent brings to the table is expertise, okay. experience, knowledge. Okay. And what he does is that he helps whosoever wants to buy land to navigate the complex market. And then also, it will also it can also help to handle paperwork that is needed for you to be able to secure the property to be a genuine apart our uh, property okay it helps him or her to be able to negotiate effectively okay because when we are talking of property we have different prices for them okay you can have an interest in the property and the price that is being given to you, it is overbought. Okay. So, a sane on an experience, a real estate agent knows what is obtainable in the property market. So he knows he should understand the value of that property. Okay. So what he does is that he gives you advice. He tells you that the price of that property cannot be what was given to you okay. and that there should be a room for negotiation negotiation so, so okay. that is one that is one of the things that a real estate agent brings to the table okay that is if you you contact an estate agent to get a property for you okay and then also it helps you to navigate the complex market okay. because already the market is complex it is not just for you to go into the market and want to buy a property mm -hmm. there are informations that the agent himself have okay. about the property yeah it might not it might be a property that the government has an interest okay so it goes around ask questions about the property okay. go back and forth yeah. to make more inquiries about the property okay. so that is when why when an agent i know ask you for his fee mm. you, it is what he has done for you for it you. is is a professional fee Okay. it's not just that he is begging for the money but the service and you have to see it to it that the agent has actually done his own due diligence okay. while getting the property and then assuring you about the property okay. you know there are some findings that you know is required that an estate agent have to you know go through okay. before asking you to buy a property okay. you know sometimes it might be a property that what the only document that is attached to it is the survey plan so how does he know that it is a genuine property then he goes overboard and make more inquiries from people within the neighborhood okay. and ask them is there any controversy on the property they are the ones to give he knows how to do his work yeah. to be to know the right and to know if the property is genuine or not, or not so. there are some people you will also need to consult such as the village head in that community yeah. so that man the village head has all the information about any property in that environment yeah. so and there are some things that the real estate agent we have to go we uh, we need to do to get those information i got something probably you know someone in that area yeah. that can help him you know consult the village head well okay. and talk to him to give him you know 
you know good information yes, about, about the, property. the property so these are things that you know a real, real estate agent with knowledge experience and expertise does okay. you know to you when you need a property to buy thank okay. you very much thank you very much okay sir home inspection and appraisal can be intimidating what should buyers know about these processes okay the word intimidating is actually true okay when uh, where inspection of a property is required but i have this to say okay that physical inspection is very crucial very germane where buying a property is required because when we are talking of buying a property there are a lot of things you you look into that has to favor the price that is being given to you you are not just buying a property you are also buying the location okay. of the property okay. and that tells you why a property in one state is different from a property in another, another state okay. location is part of what you look into so when a price is being given to you you know why it is being given to you because you need to see it with your eyes that this property worth the value from the location and we have you know we you look into the condition of the house what does it have okay the facilities in the property okay. does it have all of that okay. and you know it has to be something that you you have to look into something else to see that after you after the purchase of the property you are not putting in a whole lot of money Not again it. to you know to make it be in a good condition yeah. so these are the things you look into okay and it's only through physical inspection which this can actually be discovered you cannot stay far off and won't just want to buy a property without inspection but this is a good news okay. even if you don't have to come and check the property yourself okay. uh, a real estate agent can actually undertake the tax for you for you how do you do it no we have a we have video camera okay. which can actually which an agent can take to a particular location okay. and um, take the picture and videos of the property okay. and it can be sent to you and when it comes to appraisal the appraiser aspect of it has to do with the fact that you have to do the assessment of the property value does it worth that amount in the property market does it really worth amount when you make you make comparison of another property in the same location and look and looking at it you know you i mean coming to for a physical inspection you are able to do an appraisal of the property to know that it's really worth okay. maybe from the research that you have done so far you saw that in a particular location the price is not up to that and you make question you look at it okay is there something that the the property you saw in another location does not have that this one you want to buy has okay. that makes the value to increase or reduce so these are the things that is required so that is why you know buying property is actually is a tedious task but the good news is that at the end of the day okay. it's worth the labor yeah. of your of your time and all of all of, all of those things okay. so that's what i have to say in that in that area so i i, I still want to ask uh, closing the deal what step does it take for a success a successful closing like uh, we have gotten the land let's uh, assuming that we have gotten the land what step does it take for a successful closing okay thank you for that question no. and i will say that it's a very important question okay um you you have to ensure that um your highs are dotted and your t's are crossed okay and what i mean about this is that you ensure that the contingencies are met and what do i mean by this you know from the buying of the land that is not the end of it you have to be able to secure and be sure that the land that you buy is genuine Okay. and has no government interest on it so that is why it is always advisable that you secure some some uh, documents which part of it is an agreement you involve 
you know, an enhanced an attorney to be to be carried along to prepare uh, an agreement for that property, and that attorney has to be paid for his service. And we are also talking of getting a land surveyor who is going to survey the land for you. It tells you the boundary of your land so that you don't encroach into another person's land. Yeah. So you know the boundary of your land and that is being done by a land surveyor. Okay. And it doesn't end there. There are also some title documents that you also need to, to get for you to be able to secure the property. One of it is deed of assignments. We have a C of O. Okay. So all of those things have to be in, in you have to, you know, get secure all of those things before you can you are able to have a rest of mind that you have a property no. you know many times you go to the land office when you are buying a land for instance it is expected of you to go to the land office ask the people there in the ministry this land this land you give them an information who holds this land what, what is the name written on this land so they go into it do all the, the due diligence and give it to you then that is when you know that you are getting a, you are getting a genuine land or not some not that you want to be scanned so you have to go through all the all of this process before you conclude the deal as we say so you don't just go ahead someone show you a land and you go ahead and pay and you go and rest your mind that is not true it is not done in see in buying a property so you just like i have said yeah. that you must be able to dot your high and cross your t yeah. so you meet all the contingencies and then sometimes in buying a property there are some also community you know levy that you also have to pay such as mm -hmm. development levy so you only need to ask if because now you are buying a land can you build on the land because before you can build on the land you have to be able to clear all of these things called development levy so there are certain there are authorities in that community that is taking that that is taking care of that so all of these things have to be taken care of before you say you have secured the property so this is what i have to say on the question you have just asked me before the conclusion of a deal of a property Thank you very much, sir. So, thank you so much, sir. It's a pleasure for taking us through the journey of acquiring a property from the beginning down to closing. Uh, and also, I just want to find out because after buying a property or after buying a house, let's be specific, a house, the next step is moving in, packing in. So, are there tips towards this or is just someone can just move in? So, as a house agent, is there anything advice that you can give to people or to new homeowners? Okay, thank you very much for the question. And this is what I have to say, that you must always have it at the back of, of your mind when you, after securing a property, maybe okay. a house, a house or a land. Okay. that there is that is not the hand of maintaining of maintaining or incurring expenses okay there are maintenance that you have to you know to embark on upon after getting the property or acquiring the property okay. and which let's say for instance it is a house okay is a house that you buy okay you there is um depending on the condition because a professional will actually need to give you to tell you that there are maintenance tasks that you need to, you know, to carry out in that property. But it, it might actually be six months maintenance. It might be yearly. It might be three year, th uh, three yearly maintenance. So it depends. And then there should be a focus where the where you are going to do the maintenance. So or probably let's say it's a landed property that has no physical structure on it already okay. there is a there's need for you to also do maintenance because grass can grow on it yeah, okay. right for it grass can grow on it you, you have to do the maintenance or for some people what i do advise them is when you are getting a landed property that has no structure on it mm -hmm. so it does it does that it does it end there that you don't have to you know do something on the land no it can actually still bring some 
you know, money into your pocket. Maybe you can get a farmer okay. who can use it for farming okay. for you. Okay. Or why? And another thing is, you must be able to secure your property properly. Like I have said, I talked about you know secure getting some documents yeah. that actually that assures you of the property. property. But most of the time too, this is this is always my advice to a beer land. Yeah. that when you are when you are when you when you got it you also you can also do fencing okay around the land okay get it that actually is actually another way to secure the land, the land because okay. when someone has seen a development mm. he knows that no this can actually this cannot actually be for sale for sale are you yeah. what i'm saying so yeah. those are part of uh, the activities that should that should can go on so and so these are the maintenance aspect of it that you that you will have to you know to embark on okay. after getting a property and like i've said that if it is a a building that you just acquired yeah there are maintenance that you need to embark upon there are things that you have you know you have to watch into them like for instance now you don't expect to get a property for instance and after two years you are not thinking of changing some facilities in that apartment it, because that is it it's either it's rust and the more and the, and the, one of the thing is that once you you leave it there for a long time and there is no maintenance yeah are you guess what i'm saying yeah. it makes that building dilapidate in i mean suddenly that it will not you, you cannot you will not be able to control you won't be able to control or probably it might actually require you to put in a whole lot of money into money. it okay. for it to come back into a good condition that you want it so these are the things you have to you know you seek an advice for how do you how do you do your maintenance of okay. the property okay. or you no know, and then sometimes you know the property we are talking about what is what is it for is it your is it a owner occupied property or a rented apartment if it's a owner you know owner occupied property i'm talking of private residence yeah you know you are the one living into in into the place so yeah. there are some things that some things that comes up in the property that you know it needs some some uh, immediate attention, attention people so. and pra and a pra adventure mm. if it is a is a property that is um, is a rented apartment like i said it actually required you to put it under the care of an estate manager okay and what do i mean about this is you know you are not going to be there all the time yeah. to know what is happening in a rented apartment where after you have you know given it to people to occupy the place and you know people we have we have imperfect people that will stay in your property overuse the facilities there so you are supposed to have someone who oversee the management of that property who goes into the property ensures that everything is working perfectly and whatsoever thing is not working perfectly he is supposed to come to you give you an advice on how to you know work on those facilities so that it will the property will not collapse immediately so you you can keep enjoying the profit that comes in into the property are you gonna tell me without yeah. uh, without uh, i mean expending too much of money upon it when you have actually taken care of the maintenance as at when due so okay. this is what i have to say okay about this. so thank you very much it's, it's okay. um, i got lost because okay. <laughs> <laughs> i i was also enjoying the the whole uh, maintenance okay. process okay. so it then means that after acquiring a property you should think of uh, maintenance it's not just because think i've of gotten a house exactly. right? so you also yeah that's the end of it okay. so you have to also look at things mm -hmm. to be done if exactly. it's to renovate or things to if it's to paint or something like that and which i can actually require maybe one i mean two i mean in three years you might need to do some repainting some it's innovation yeah, okay. you know look into the facilities mm -hmm. so some facilities you know you look into the you know the pipe or the pipe yeah. you know the plumbing works the there plumbing. the electrical works there okay. you know what i'm saying the electrical works there mm -hmm. then you know if there is uh you look into the soccer way yeah. the soccer way and some you know there are some other things 
there's one of the things you need to look into the roof is it leaking yeah. is there any parts and then one of the things is that when you see but probably you see a roof leaking you don't leave it like that till when it expands yeah. it is very good that immediately you discover that it's leaking mm. you actually do something about it about before you. before the thing the the opening is so wide right, that yeah. you will not have to put in so much money mm. to you know yeah. to do it so those are the things you look into those is that those are maintenance task that yeah. you will need to embark into yeah. when you get a property and okay. so you have to know all of these things this so thing. that you don't just add property yeah. and raise and you think that is the end of it I that's not the end of it okay. it's a life lifelong property and you have to watch the maintenance you have to watch the life so that you will have a long lifespan we we'll have uh, houses rented houses in on our house, land in housing estates yeah. i have lands i have houses there okay. i've rented apartments there i okay. know i undertake management too okay you know i have properties few properties that i might that i under my care okay just like i said that i undertake the sales aspect okay so if you if you have any property that you want to buy in any location mm. maybe in housing estate okay. tell me what you the purpose for buying the property okay. maybe for rented commercial properties residential properties okay. i you know i undertake all of these things so you and you are in a safe hand if you you know you contact me and you give me you know you give me the duty to do the job for you you i'm i can assure you that you are going to really enjoy my service so my name is ajayi ajayi uluwatosin this is what i have to say that uh, if you are looking into investing into real estate you know you can do well to contact me i will deliver the job for you and you will not have any out of regret. You know, any area whatsoever you want, a land, you know, you want to buy a land, whether in housing estates, and you tell me the purpose why you need the property, I can assure you that you are going to get a good property that you will really appreciate. You will want to even refer me to more of your friends. So there is no any regret, there's no regret if you, you know, hire me as a real estate agent thank you very much sir thank you for the insight and uh, your time i really appreciate and i know people out there will appreciate your time for coming to this channel to give us insight about real estate from beginning of buying and uh, closing deal and not just uh, about uh, closing the deal you still go ahead to do maintenance of your property after buying so thank you so much i really appreciate and i know so many people out there will really want to contact you to know more about uh, your business and uh, in the uh, comment section we can discuss more and in the description of this video you will find his contact if you have properties that you want me to manage i can undertake it for you get from so that is all i can say and your name is no, no, my name is ajayi Oluwatosin. Okay, thank you very much, Ajay. Yeah. It's really nice yeah. having you. And you know, guys, I don't just bring any help person to this channel. If you have been watching my channel, you know that before I, I bring someone to my channel, you know that the person is good and the person is very, very good. So Ajay here is someone I've, I've done business with and not only me, so many people are, that testify about him. Okay. So he's someone that I know and I can testify about him. So if you want to go into real estate, his contact is on the description of this video and in the comment section, you can interact with him. You ask more questions and you ask questions where you don't get clarifications. You can ask your questions and he will provide answer for you through the comment section. And also, if you have not subscribed to this channel, click on the subscribe and the notification button below so that when we bring out a video like this so that when we upload a video like this you can be notified thank you and thank you for watching thank you for staying with us so buying a home is a significant milestone and having the right guidance make all the difference and we hope this guide help you on your journey to home ownership stay tuned for more real estate tips thank you so much